Hey everyone, Nikhil. I hope you guys are doing well. For those of you that are new, welcome to the channel. My name is Nikhil Reddy. I make videos about personal growth, education, and technology. But today, I wanted to share a personal story that I've been a little reluctant to in the past for fear of coming off as disingenuous or ungrateful. But after talking to many of my coworkers and sharing emails with a ton of my viewers about this story in particular, I figured that making a video could be helpful. So, as you could probably tell by the title, today I wanted to discuss why I turned down a full-time engineering job at Tesla Motors in exchange for a role that is a lot more risky and much, much smaller. But before I jump right in, I want to quickly address the privilege and gratitude that goes into making a video like this. I understand how lucky and blessed I am to have been afforded such wonderful opportunities and they are experiences that I will never take for granted. I just wanted to put that out there. So for a bit of background, I'm currently a senior at UC Berkeley studying electrical engineering and computer science, and for the last three summers, I've had the immense privilege of interning at Tesla as a software engineer. It was a truly amazing experience, one in which I got the chance to meet some incredibly smart people, work on a product that I believed in, and use my skills for more than just selling ads or creating gimmicky products for the world. Not to mention, Tesla is a massive company with a spectacular mission and it's poised to disrupt an entire industry. So when I made the choice to turn down an offer to return there as a full-time software engineer, I was worried that I made the wrong decision. And it's only recently become one that I've been comfortable with. So today I wanted to take the time to address my thought process behind it and pick out the three biggest reasons why I decided to make this choice in the hopes that it may help some of you who are also weighing opportunities in your life or figuring out your next steps upon graduation or beyond. The first reason was to simply take a risk, move somewhere else, and begin a life in an entirely new area. I think as human beings, we often get more risk averse as time goes on, and it was really important to me that upon graduation, I move to a new city to meet new people and work at a different type of company. More importantly, familiarity with my environment and work has been something that I've always wanted to shake up, and I find that it's when I'm in new places working with new people that I feel refreshed and excited. As a result, I made the choice to move a few hundred miles away to Southern California and work at a small technology startup of around 50 people. It was important for me to truly get out of my comfort zone. For the last three years, Tesla was the metric by which I judged my professional success. I was so focused on the positive things that people were saying that I didn't really ponder how I could continue to grow from there, and that's what bothered me. So by forcing myself to reevaluate how I saw my own success and pursuing an exciting new opportunity, I knew that I could find personal growth and happiness without the prestige or comfort of a big, massive company. The second reason I made this choice was to maximize my learning in areas and disciplines that I wasn't truly familiar with before. Working at a large company is an amazing experience as I've said before. It taught me so much about engineering, design, and collaboration. That said though, at large companies your work is often defined for you and you're hired to perform a specific set of tasks. Part of my decision to work at a much smaller startup was because I wanted to learn what it takes to build a company from the ground up, what working for a company that's so early in its life cycle looks like, and most importantly, get my hands dirty with a variety of work. From engineering, to business, to the artistic side of things, and I knew that choosing to work at a company that was really, really small in scope and size would afford me those opportunities. Finally, the third and possibly the most important reason was because I wasn't sure if engineering was what made me happy. And having attended university and pursued a degree in this exact thing makes that a pretty scary thought, but it was one that I wanted to confront honestly. I love making videos, meeting new people, designing clothes, and being an engineer. And I wanted to be sure that if this was the career path for me, that I could go be an engineer in a new environment, in a new city, working with new people, and still love what I did. I think in general, whenever you induce change into your life, it teaches you a lot about new experiences and new people, but it also teaches you just as much about what you have been doing and what you like and dislike. And I know that if a year from now I wake up just as excited to do my job and be an engineer in a new environment, then I'll know for sure that this is the path for me. And if not, at least I'll have the satisfaction of knowing fairly early on in my career. Ultimately, those were my three reasons for making that decision. I hope this video in some way helped 
helped you, if you're trying to weigh opportunities or figure out your next steps, please feel free to send me an email. You can go to my website and very easily get in contact with me. I respond to everyone, I promise, and we can have an awesome conversation about your next steps as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Nikhil. I make videos like this all the time. This one in particular was a tad bit different, but in general, I like to focus on personal growth, education, and technology. If this is something you like, let me know down below with a like or a comment, maybe a subscription to the channel. Last but not least, I will always see you guys in the next one.